so hi everyone we are back with another great tutorial on model context protocol and this time as you can see we have automated facebook using ai yes you heard it right here you can see that from the official page of data science in a pocket on facebook i have just published a message using ai and as you can see it is written published by mcp looking at ai in 2025 we are witnessing remarkable progress in how ai systems understand context etc etc now not a single line is written by me even the posting is done by cloud ai so let me show you and how you can also do it with cloud ai or with another local llm as well this is very easy to do and it works with just the business pages do remember that you really can't automate your personal pages with it it is more for businesses so let's get started let me show you the demonstration for it so as you can see under the hammer sign there are facebook mcp tools delete comment delete post Filter negative comments, get page post, get post comment, post to Facebook, reply to a comment. So let me post another post on Facebook. Post a joke around AI on Facebook page. So now let AI craft a joke as well and post it on our Facebook page. And we will just see. As you can see, it is started drafting the joke. We will be trying to test out some other operations as well before we jump on to how to do it. As you can see, the joke has been posted. Let's check it out. As you can see, published by MCP just now, why don't AI assistants ever get tired of answering questions? The joke is driven here. This can be a great tool to automate stuff. And if you can integrate this MCP with the AI on server, it can be posting on your behalf throughout the day. So I think that's the best thing that has happened. And I think AI agents are now truly in their senses so let me try out some other tool as well and then we'll jump on to how to integrate facebook mcp with our local ai or with cloud ai so now as you saw that we are able to create automatic posting on facebook page now let me tell you how i did it so i'm using facebook mcp server by tero sham and here you can see that's quite easy to integrate it provides the different features post to facebook reply to a comment get page post get post comments filter negative comments delete post delete comment etc for this you need to do two things one is we need to generate the facebook page access token facebook page id and then we also need to have this mcp server getting config in the cloud ai config or whatever local lm that you're using so we will be coming on to this part later on because this is easier to do we first need to create the page access token and facebook page id which is a trickier part so let me first show you the facebook page id how to get it now first of all we will be getting our page id from our facebook page so for that click here and then you need to go to about section once you go to about section there is a section called as page transparency where when you click it on the right hand side you should be able to see the page id let me click it and this is the page ID that you can see. I have blurred it out for you so that you can't copy it. Now, once we are done with the page ID, now you need to create the page access token, which is a little trickier to do. Now to generate the Facebook page access token, we have already created the page access ID. Now to create the page access token, you need to go to developers.facebook.com. The link is present in the comment section below. And here are all the applications managed by Meta. As we want to manage the Facebook page, we will click on Facebook. Once done, here you can see that you can come here and automate, connect, grow. Different things are present here. Page management is there, marketing API, multiple things are there. You need to go to My Apps. Here you can see that now we have came to My App, and this is the app that I'm talking about that I've already created for myself. MCP, as you can see, mod is in development, type is business, business is data science in your pocket. So if you don't have it, you need to create an app. Click here. We need to create, give your app a name, test. Next, you need to mention the use case that you wish to do. I'll click on others for now. Next, let me make it business. And then create app. 
Now, once you are able to create a new application, it should be visible on this section, as you can see. Now we need to go to graph development site of Facebook. That's a secondary website where we would be finally able to get the page access token. So let's jump on to there now. Now we are at the graph API development section of Meta where we need to attach this application that is MCP that I created for myself. If you have created something else, that application name should be visible here. And then you need to go to get user access token. Click here. Now once done, there are permission section downstairs. You select, try to select everything, everything starting from pages because you would require all the tools. So anything coming in pages, you need to select it and then click on generate access token. Once you click on this, an access token would be generated for you. Now the story doesn't end here because this is a user access token that has been generated. Now you need to generate the page access token using this user access token. So for that, you need to hit the curl application. I will show you that curl api that we need to hit now as you can see we are at the final step where we need to hit this curl request curl minus i minus a get graph.facebook.com your user id account access token your user access token so do remember that there are two things to note here one is your use user id so your user id you can get from the graph api itself the graph api developer platform that we saw in the first step so this is the basic get request that you can see once you hit submit this is the you can see that i have already blurred the id for you so this is the user id that you would be getting so do so do copy this user id and for the user access token copy the generated access token that you have got once you hit it you should be able to get an output like this data and here is the access token for your page that you get now, once you get both the things, that is the page access token that we created in the first step. Remember, we go, went to the about section and copied an ID and the page access token that we got after the curl, you need to copy both of them into an N file. Let me show you that. Let's come back to the first step of Facebook MCP server. So we're back at the Facebook MCP server GitHub repo. You need to git clone this repo and then you need to create an N file inside this repo where you need to add the page access token that you created right now and the page id that we created in the first step once done you need to add this config to your cloud config let me show you how to do it you, you need to go to the file settings go to developer edit config cloud desktop config and here you can see that this is the config that you need to add you need to provide the full part to uv as well as to the repo facebook mcp server that we have just now get cloned and you have created the end file now once done you just need to restart your cloud and you should be able to now connect facebook with your cloud ai and if you're using this mcp server the local lm also that's still fine so this is how you can automate facebook posting also using mcp and this is going to be a revolutionary time ahead i think i am able to almost cover all the major social media platforms except instagram that i should be covering soon thank you so much i hope you tried facebook mcp server as well